Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Is It Turns. What is going on, everybody? I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to be jumping into an Is It Turns deck today, built by the amazing Hello Good Game. I really encourage you, of course, to go check out Hello Good Game. And thank you so much, Hello Good Game, for sharing this over on Aetherhub. Before we actually do this, I just want to share one quick thing with you guys. Uh, we have some new merch available in our store, including these two little snapback hats. Look at these guys. That's kind of sick. Uh, we also have a couple shirts, things like that. Please go check that out. That's uh, itresolvesmtg.com. The link is down below. You can go ahead and check out the store. We've also made some huge updates to the site, which I encourage you all to check out. Would really mean a lot to us. But let's talk about today's deck. Like I said, it is Is It Turns. Uh, the reason it is called Is It Turns is because you have Alchemist Gambit here that can take an extra turn if you cleave it out. If you don't cleave it out, you still take the extra turn, but you lose at the beginning of the next end step. Uh, certainly not ideal to lose, but we do have ways of replaying it with things like Leer. We can double up with it with Galvanic iteration. We've got some really cool things that we can do. Uh, now, the rest of the deck is relatively straightforward is it style deck building. Uh, from the perspective of we've got some early game burn, we've got Flame Bless Bolt. Uh, we also have Rendering Flame, which is a uh, becoming kind of a popular favorite of mine. Uh, I really, really like this card. And not only that, I mean, that artwork is stunning. Uh, we also have Seismic Wave as well to kind of deal with a lot of uh, the little stuff. Uh, we do have Burn Down the House, which can kind of sweep the board for creatures and planeswalkers just in case we need to. Uh, as far as some other pieces, we do have Fading Hope as well as March of Swirling Mist just as some interactive pieces. Smoldering Egg is a really nice early, <coughs> excuse me, early game play to be able to hopefully flip and then start dealing damage as we see fit. Fable of the Mirror Breaker is of course a great addition to a deck like this, allowing us to get extra treasure tokens, get a little 2-2 down, and then theoretically draw further into the deck. Uh, Big Score and Memory Deluge, both really phenomenal pieces here. Memory Deluge giving us a good look at the top handful of cards, uh, allowing us to pick a couple, and then of course that flashback cost, we can replay it uh, at any time later on in the game. Big score, of course, going to give us a couple extra cards, but then also create those treasure tokens. Doubling up on it with Galvanic Iteration is always a good time. If you guys haven't done that, it's oh, just feels so good. Uh, for a total of six mana, you get four mana back and then you draw four cards by discarding one. It's kind of insane. Uh, we also have a single Hallbreaker Horse here sitting at the top. This is just a great top end uh, to be able to finish the game and, of course, deal that massive damage on hopefully those extra turns. So pretty straightforward deck but again hello good game did a really good job throwing this one together and i love the extra turns addition this isn't something you always need in a deck like this uh but it is fun to try and so i'm really excited to see if we can make it work but with that for without further ado let's go ahead and jump right in guys let's see what we can do hopefully we can get some wins and have some fun i really like the look of this deck all right guys and here we are for game number one uh and yeah this is a perfectly fine keep we definitely need some extra lands here so i'm hoping we will get to at least draw one or two but uh we are on the draw so that's helpful because we are seeing that this is going to be a mono red deck i'm going to use that flame bless bolt most likely on whatever comes down here yeah uh that's a really good one to hit actually just from the standpoint of uh, one, it has haste and we just get it out of there, but two, it's also exiled now, so they can't actually replay it later on. Uh, with level land, and we got one. That is perfect. This is going to open up a lot of burn opportunity for us here, which is really important uh, because we obviously are going to have a lot of creatures we need to burn out. So uh, let's, uh, let's slow them down a little bit. Um... I don't think we want that. I do think at this point we're in the camp of we just need as many lands as possible and then maybe get to like a burn down the house or something along those lines. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess technically we can pass here and leave up either the rendering flame or the seismic wave. Uh, kind of curious to see how this one goes. This could be interesting. I'd like to leave that seismic wave for uh, a galvanic iteration turn because it'll sweep most of their board, uh, which is actually really awesome. But we'll see. We will see. Name of the name of the game here is just slow them down enough that uh, they really don't have a whole lot of great kind of mid to late game plays, and then eventually we just kind of get to take over. 
Uh, all right, so I am going to go ahead and get this uh, token off the field. In particular, we want the token off the field so they don't get the extra treasure. Yes, we are still gonna take two, but we are not going to give them an extra mana for no reason. So I think that's certainly worth it. I am gonna be a little proactive here given the lack of pressure that the opponent has at the moment. Uh, as well as the lack of lands on our account. Uh, and so I feel like this is probably an important piece. We, we need to draw further into the deck, and at the moment we just don't have a way to do that. Um, that's a little scary from the perspective of if they get, yeah, this little guy down, they can start creating a lot of mana, but they still don't have a ton to do at the moment. And wow, we are getting very unlucky here. Um, I'm going to throw both of these back so we can hopefully draw a land. Seriously, still nothing. <laughs> Um, okay, well, we are going to go ahead and uh, hit this Flame Bless Bolt. Let's get this out of here. Uh, and then we will also get the Reflection out of here. Uh, that wasn't a bad draw, but again, we were really hoping to hit a land here uh, at some point. And unfortunately, we just have not. Uh, I don't know the land count that Hello Good Game uh, threw into this deck. Could be worth it to consider upping it, but again, we're basing this off of one game, so that's not a fair assessment. We do need to kind of get a bigger subset before we can make a call like that. And we still do not draw lands. Pretty phenomenal that we are just completely losing out to these lands. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do. We are just gonna have to pass. Uh, we do have, of course, some instant speed burn here, which is nice, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, you got it. Uh, very unfortunate. Lance, lately, Lance, like, we've been getting mana screwed a lot. That's all I'm saying. Uh, we we had that issue last week uh, pretty significantly, which was just annoying. Um, hmm. I think we just get rid of this, and I'm not 100% on that, but... That's definitely not a card we want them to have. And there's our land a little too late. Um, yeah, I mean, we literally have to do this, I think. Um, just to be able to get something off the field and potentially live another turn. But truthfully, at this point, guys, I don't think there's any hope if they have any burn spell or that. Yep, that'll do it. Good game by the opponent. That was extraordinarily unlucky. I think in general, we have a great game plan against Mono Red, so that was just bad. That was really bad, uh, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and jump into game two. This month's Patreon rewards features the amazing tutor pack with some of the most powerful tutors in Magic's history. If you'd like to learn more or sign up today, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yes, I do think this is another keep. Again, we are risking the lands uh, at this point. However, we do have that early game interaction with the smoldering egg. And then if we do get a land or two, we've got the big score to help kind of funnel us into more mana with those treasure tokens. So I definitely think this is a worthwhile keep. We'll see how this pans out. We do get to just pass here and of course leave up that flame bless bolt. Um, Kind of curious to see if we don't have to use it. Okay. That's fine. I think we leave that. Um, wow. Okay. Very interesting. Um, <laughs> part of me would like to get the egg down first, but I think we'll probably just go ahead. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and pull one of these and get it off of the field here. Opponent really on the hopeful initiate play. What a hopeful plan <laughs> oh no <laughs> these are the things that uh that weigh on my mind um all right well here's to hoping guys uh unfortunately again lands continual problem for us this is just amazing to me uh but at the very least we do have a creature down which will be able to block uh most likely so that's good uh yeah all right um, Adeline is definitely scary, uh, and unfortunately we literally can't play anything, so. <laughs> We're just getting our butt handed to us, man. Um, alright, fine. That does slow us down a little bit, uh, which we really didn't need that problem, but here we are. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, man. I mean, I think they just have us. I would love to get a burn down the house going, but, like, we're not anywhere close. And they just made it take one more turn to actually get a, uh, a big score down. So, like, at this point, we are pretty much toast. Uh, man. How bad can we be? This is terrible. Uh... Yeah, we can't even play that. All right, I'm going to concede. <laughs> no lands once again. I'm going to check in between games and just see how many we have, but let's go ahead and jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are against Fabian, uh, which if you watch Dimension 20, you will appreciate. Uh, yeah, so this deck has 24 lands, uh, which in my opinion is a bit low for a is it control deck i understand we've got a lot of like big score things like that to kind of help us in that regard however uh i really don't think 24 is enough i would normally go 25 26 might be pushing it but uh having that extra source in there especially in a in a deck where you're able to discard to draw more feels like the right move um but that's just my opinion uh of course so no stress there uh kind of surprised they didn't add a, uh, a damage there. Yeah, they could have 100% dealt a little extra damage, but that's fine. All right. Um, so here we actually just get to pass <clears throat> and uh, ping whichever one they go to actually uh, evolve. Uh, let's go into full control. They're not going to ping or uh, level up. That's interesting. Normally would have expected them to do so, Really? Why? Why would they do that? <laughs> Steals five damage. Why would you do that? Do it to this one. That was a weird, weird call. Uh, I'm not sure on that one, but that's fine. I think that was just a misplay. I feel like that has to be a misplay. That was weird. Um, all right. I mean, I'm cool with it. That's totally fine by me. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, we just get to pass once again, uh, which is kind of a nice place to be. So we can choose to big score or we can choose to rendering flame, but either way, we should be in great shape here. Uh, the question is, do we rendering flame now? I think not. Again, we kind of want, the, the nice thing about evolving sleeper or evolve sleeper is you can really kind of force your opponent into doing a little more than they maybe need to uh, because you, force them into spending mana on it just to keep it going and uh there's not a lot left after that so that's fine we actually have a great answer for that um well what is the answer so we can just bounce that of course which is like probably the most straightforward option uh alternatively we can just drop our own i think we'll just Hmm. Mm hmm. Alternatively, we can just wait on that. I think either way, we'll end up waiting here. Uh, and probably pre-combat, we'll just bounce. They discarded a destroy evil. That's actually really helpful for the fact that we have a leer in hand. Let's go ahead and bounce this so they lose it completely. That's always a nice little uh, techie play. Anytime you bounce a token, it just feels really nice. <laughs> Uh, sure, that's fine. Excellent. Um, hmm. What do we want to play here? Uh, I'm going to throw out our own Fable. <clears throat> Anticipating that we may end up just trading these off, I'm really not sure what the right plan will be here. Uh, but if we don't trade off, we just get the extra mana next time. Wow, they discarded Depopulate and Eganjo. Very nice. Ooh, that's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm so stoked for this burn down the house. <laughs> this is going to be such a good burn down the house. Uh, we're going to hit at least two creatures and a lily. I will happily take that. Happily, happily take that. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Oh, this is going to feel great. Are we ready? Uh, is it worth waiting? No, it's not worth waiting. We go ahead and do this now. All right, sick. <laughs> uh, this was the only reason I would have considered waiting, by the way, guys, just so we could have also hit the uh, the reflection, but I don't think we needed to. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and straight kill. Um, they can have their reflection. I don't think it's gonna be all that helpful, so I'm not incredibly worried about it. I would like to get this leer down at some point, but I will need to probably sweep first. And I don't want to discard the leer to the big score at this point, so. Ooh, so nice. Okay, sick. That's really annoying with the big score in hand, I'll be honest. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna take a bit of a calculated risk here, I think. Let's do this. Um, I don't love this because this gives them the opportunity to basically look at up to two cards, I guess. Um, but this leaves open the possibility of just like burn down the house next turn. Uh, I understand we sacrifice our own Leer to do this, but I think it's definitely worth it. We're just gonna take the four. We're gonna also end up taking an extra two because of that shielded, which is not ideal, but I think it's fine. Um, let's see, is there any situation whenever another non two? Yeah. All right, so let's do this first, just to be safe. We're gonna get the Lisa off the field. Are they gonna copy it? No, okay. And then as unfortunate as this is, I think we just have to burn down the house. Uh, again, we are leaving open that uh, flipped reflection here, which is not ideal. Um, but I think it might be okay. They're down to one card, so that's helpful. Smoldering Egg, yes. I will absolutely just throw that out there. At this point, we just need the Defender. Uh, big score is going to be great with that Smoldering Egg. Uh, and so at this point, okay, they have a Destroy Evil, sure. That sucks, but I mean, what are you going to do? All right, give me something. Um, we probably just are going to keep that, right? It gives us a way to exile this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Get it off the field. This just stabilizes us to the point where they've got nothing and we've got nothing. Okay, <laughs> sure. Um, let's go ahead, do this. Hope we draw something. <laughs> That's not something. Um, okay, well, here we are. <laughs> that sucks that they exile graveyards, honestly. Um, Though we've killed a lot of their big stuff at this point. Okay, that's actually quite nice. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. <laughs> Technically, we should probably wait on this so we can uh, block this little Hidetsu goo guy. Uh, if you don't know, by the way, this is a really sick card. Uh, it's very scary. This is also a card that I've learned a lot about in reading the original Kamikawa series, which has been just a blast. Um, all right, land is not what you want. So we are gonna pass because we can't really afford to take any damage. Um, and hope that we can just straight kill this thing. I'm assuming they're gonna kill two of these guys, which is fine. Uh, yeah. Um, what do we do here? I'm actually going to deal one here. Uh, and then we're going to deal one here. This is a calculated risk, understanding they may just pass here. Um, yep, that's fine. We lost out on one damage that way, so it's not the end of the world. And look, now we have all the lands. Uh, we're also just going to die to this Archangel, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna good game them. They just get to kill us off of that. All right, cool. We have time for one more. <laughs> Let's hope we can get a win, guys. We got this. Maybe. All right, guys, here we are for our last game. Hopefully we can get somewhere with this one. Uh, this is a pretty burn heavy hand in the early turns, but I'm gonna keep it because we have lands and apparently that's a struggle for us. So, <laughs> um, I don't actually think it matters too much, but I guess we can represent a, like, negate. 
or something by doing this, so we will. Excellent. Werewolves, again, I think a deck that we have a reasonable chance against. Um, yep. All right, we'll just pass. Uh, I mean, I feel pretty okay about our start. We've got the seismic wave here, uh, which should be able to... That's an interesting inclusion. Hmm. Not artifact creature. I don't think I would have expected that, but I will just go ahead and kill it. Um, I don't really see a reason not to. Knowing that we will most likely big score this upcoming turn just to get to this Hallbreaker Horror, uh, I feel like is a perfectly fine thing. If they have a, uh, they could have Tamiya's protection, whatever it is, to give it hexproof. That would be annoying, but truthfully, I'm not all that concerned about the Runebound Wolf. Uh, at this point, it is representative of some damage, but it's not like a ton of damage, so I think it's kind of fun. Yeah, safekeeping. That's cool. Um... I honestly think the play is just going to be the big score. Not all that concerned about getting the egg down at this point, I don't think. Um, yeah, that seismic wave would have been good against this, but they would have still had the safekeeping, of course, so it wouldn't really have mattered. Uh, let's go ahead and do this, I suppose. I'm actually just going to discard this smoldering egg. As silly as it is, I want to have the guaranteed land here. Ooh, neat. Um, this just guarantees the horror, um, which I think is probably just the best bet. I don't know that there's a lot they can do against that. Maybe there is. We'll see. Uh, wait a second. Let's see. One, two, or four, five, six, seven. So that would give us, is that worth it? No, I think we still just play this. Um. I would love to, to Alchemist Gambit and just take an extra turn, but that doesn't guarantee us the Holebreaker Horror the next turn because we have to use the two treasure tokens. Uh, and so I feel like this is probably just the safer bet. Uh, we know they're not running, I mean, it can't be countered. They're not running bounce. So like it would have to be a lot of burn to get this off the field, maybe plus a block. I, I don't know, it would be something strange like that. So. Because we're so early in the game and they haven't dealt but two damage to us, I feel like we can probably just take whatever hit they throw at us this upcoming turn and then really start to take over next turn uh, with the march and, you know, just bouncing all their crap. <laughs> Seems pretty good. Um, hopefully we can win this one. I hope so. I would love to win a game. That'd be great. Nice. Whatever that's really cool. That's a good addition to this deck, actually. Uh, worth noting, they only have a single green. Um, yeah, they're not going to attack. Excellent. Let's do this. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and do this. Um, I guess this. I'd rather get this off the field. They can deal five damage to us. I guess technically the correct play would have been the pack song pup, so we could have attacked in, but we actually still have the march available, so it doesn't really matter. They might just deal this damage to us anyway. Uh, all right, let's be kind of tricksy here. Guess we could have returned the safekeeping, but I kind of want to make them invest the mana again. All right, cool. All right, so now it's just a matter of if we get lands, uh, or if we get, let's see, one one land, we can Alchemist Gambit for the cleave cost, uh, which puts them in a weird position. And then, uh, yeah, we should be able to win it. Or, <laughs> uh, so we can't quite win off of that, can we? Um, Yeah, I'll attack. I'm gonna force the issue here. If they block, okay, they didn't, that's good. So next turn we can just play the gambit and not really have to worry too much. Um, even if we do, well, we'll see. Depends on how they attack also, I suppose. If they attack in with something, then we're guaranteed the win, I think, uh, because we can just alchemist gambit, bounce the untapped thing, 
and then that allows us to kind of take over. If they can just win off of this, though, that would be annoying. Let's see, they can activate it three times. That's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they can just win. Well, we shouldn't have attacked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we threw because we attacked with the horror. <laughs> Why? Why do I do things? Why do I even play the game? You know what I mean? We lost every single game, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead and wrap this one up. All right, guys. Well, uh, we didn't get a win. We played four games. Uh, we lost all four. Some of them were due to mana issues, although I think that last one was just me being dumb. <laughs> I shouldn't have attacked. I mean, that's just the reality of it. It wasn't safe. Uh, knowing that that thing was gonna flip was just not a safe play. So that was on me. Regardless, I still think the deck was really fun. I do think um, the, the thing that a deck like this is gonna suffer from, as it always will, no matter what iteration you kind of make of it, is if you can't play the extra turn spells because you don't have the mana, which unfortunately we did not some of the time, uh, you also, towards the mid to late game your burn is good some of it's very good it deals up to five damage not all of it is going to be great and some of it's going to be stuff like not burn but necessarily like galvanic iteration that's not a good card to have by itself in the hand and you generally are kind of burning stuff out to the point where you don't necessarily have a ton of cards in hand at any one point i feel like card draw in general is something that would be beneficial just like some early game like consider like something random and silly just to give yourself a little bit more momentum uh, all in all, I do think, you know, taking extra turns, we didn't even get to see it because we had to get that heart, that horror down, uh, which I think was the correct play. Um, but all in all, we just didn't quite get there. Uh, regardless, I do think Hello Good Game, of course, as always, does a great job of throwing these decks together. So thank you so much for sharing this one. Sorry we messed up, but you know what? It's cool. It was still a fun game uh, or a fun, a fun deck to play. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a great start to your week, guys. Thank you all so much. I'll see you again very soon.